Question number 11. A circle C1 has equation x squared plus y squared plus 18x minus 2y plus 30 equals to zero. The line L is the tangent to C1 at the point P minus five, seven. Find an equation of L in the form ax plus by plus c equals to zero, where a, b, and c are integers to be found. First thing we want to do, we want to complete the square. Find half of 18 is nine. So have x plus nine squared. And when you multiply x plus nine times x plus nine, you get x squared plus 18 x plus 81. So we have to minus 81 because there's no 81 here. Find half of minus two is minus one. When you multiply y minus one times y minus one, you get y squared minus two y plus one. We notice that there's plus one here and there's no plus one here. So we have to minus one. So what we will have is x plus nine squared minus 81 plus y minus one all squared minus one plus 30 equal to zero. Minus 81 minus one plus 30 it gives you 52. So that's the equation of the circle. The center is minus nine, one. And the radius will be square root of 52. Now we want to find the gradient between two points. To find the gradient, we use minus five and seven and minus nine and one center. So it's seven minus one over minus five plus minus minus nine, which is minus five plus nine, it gives you three over two. And that's the formula for gradient that we are using. So the gradient of tangent line will be minus one over that gradient, minus one over three over two, which will give you minus two over three. And that's the formula I'm using on the side. And that's the explanation for it. If a line has a gradient M, a line perpendicular to it has a gradient of minus one over m. So if that's the radius and that's the tangent, so the gradient for this one is m, this one is minus one over m, because that part of the radius is the part of the circle like that. So you have your circle, that's the radius, that's the tangent, this angle is 90. So this gradient is m, which is two over, two over three, this one is minus two over three. Now we want to find equation of a line. We use this equation, y minus y1 equals to m bracket x minus x1. So y stays the same. y1 is minus seven, which y1 is seven, which we'd get from there seven. Gradient is minus two over three. x stays the same and x minus minus five will become x plus five because there's a minus a minus minus five become plus five now we multiply by three three times y is three y and three times minus seven is minus 21. we take the minus two to the left so it becomes plus two x plus three y Minus 10 goes to the right, it becomes plus 10, minus 21 plus 10 will be minus 11. So you get 2x plus 3y minus 11 is equal to zero. Part B says a different circle C2 has equation x squared plus y squared minus 8x plus 12y plus k is equal to zero, where k is a constant. Given that C2 lies entirely in the fourth quadrant, find the range of possible values for k. Now we want to complete the square for x squared minus 8x and y squared plus 12y. So half of eight is four. So have x minus four, x minus four, which will give x squared minus eight squared minus 16. And half of 12 is six. So when we multiply that, we'll get y squared plus 12y minus 36, which comes from six times six. And that minus 16 will come from the four times four, plus K equals to zero. So X minus four squared plus Y plus six all squared is equals to minus 16 minus 36 is minus 52. You take minus 52 to the right, it becomes plus 52. You take plus K to the right, it becomes minus K. 
So that's equals to 52 minus K. Since it lies in the fourth quadrant, the radius will have to be less than four. So that means arrow squared is equals to 52 minus K. 